Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Unturned. Today is September 22nd, 2017. At the time of this recording anyway, and we have a new update out today. It is version 3.20.6.0. And I know I haven't done an update video in a long, long time, but that's because Nelson, the developer, has been in the process of a move, and he hasn't really released very many updates that have content to share with you guys. I mean, there's lots of bug fixes and various things, but no real content. So I blame Nelson. Actually, I can't blame Nelson. I've been kind of busy too, but he is now settled in his new location. And I believe he's in Toronto now, right? I think so. And he's putting some new content in, for example, in this, ep in this episode, in this uh, update. There's a new wall clock to play around with and the ability to mark a location on your map. And it shows your location. I guess it's like a waypoint. We'll go take a look at that. And last week he added a compass. And I actually I have not even played around with that. So we'll do that today too. In fact, we got Will McKenzie from The Long Dark waiting for us. And he's going to show us the new stuff. So let's get down there. Uh, down to The Long Dark. And hook up with him. Actually, it's the Eternal Frost map. It's a custom map. I did a video on that. I guess it was last week. He's still there. So yeah, let's go meet him. Let's go meet up with him. Here we go. Oh! You're a big one. Okay, you wait right there. I'm going to catch some... Oh, hi! Oh, jeez. Didn't see you there. Oh, let me put that pole down. Uh, how you doing? You're here. Uh, I was just fishing. Just catching some fish. Are you hungry? It's a bass. Just caught it. Uh, it's a big one, huh? Not quite as big as old Bertha up there on the wall. Come on in here. Come on in. You see that old Bertha right there? Yeah, she's she's a doozy. Anyway, yeah, so welcome to, uh, welcome to Canada. <laughs> uh, let's get down to Brass Tax. Actually, why don't we cook this up and eat it? And look at this, a Pepsi dropped off. Hmm. So yeah, this is actually the uh, the map that we looked at in the last episode. It is the Long Dark map, or at least based on the Long Dark. So you know what, let's put the fishing pole up there. We're done fishing, and now we're gonna take a look at the new stuff. For example, the compass, which puts a compass down on the bottom of the screen. Look at that, it shows your bearings, and it shows the uh, magnetic north there. To the north let's bring up the map and make sure it's actually working it is due north right there and as you turn it turns with you very very cool indeed and apparently we can now right click on the map oh yes we can right click on the map and it puts a waypoint on the map itself and it looks like you can only have one at a time and how about on the uh oh it even shows up here hold on where is it yeah right there it shows up down on the compass too so you don't have to bring up the map to follow those waypoints to get to- Oh, a deer! Hi, deer! You guys hungry? You want some venison? I mean, this is what it's like living out here in the country! So, oh, got him. <laughs> got him good. <laughs> we got fish, fresh fish, we got fresh venison. Let's go scoop them up. Before the wolves get them. There's a lot of wolves out here on the Eternal Frost. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Two slices. Two slabs of venison. We'll go cook this up on the fire in our fishing hut. And then uh, we'll make up this wall clock. Because Will has lost all track of time out here living by himself, lost in Canada. But uh, he would like to have a clock, at least to know what time it is. Mmm, delicious. Okay, we'll save that one for later. Drop it right there on the floor. Don't really have anywhere else to put it. <laughs> okay, so now... Let's take a look at the new wall clock. So this is actually craftable. I don't think the compass is craftable. It's an epic item that you find most likely in camping spots and hardware stores or something. I don't really know. I just, I spawned that in so I could have it here to show you the compass. All right, let's whip up this clock. So to craft the clock, you need a few items. You need weak glass two scrap metal and a blowtorch and crafting three which is the maximum level of crafting and fortunately will mckenzie is very handy and he's got three levels of crafting so no worries there but we do need to make the glass we don't have that yet and that requires two metal sheets there we go and now we whip that together and we have a wall clock and now will is going to be able to tell time finally all this time missing power source okay no he's not it's not battery operated or solar operated it is apparently uh electric so we're gonna have to go find a generator okay well you know what that'll be actually pretty fun so how about if we go find a generator if we don't find one then we'll make one 
There's a town right here. Maybe we can find something in the town. Let's take, uh, yeah, let's let's take the uh, the snowmobile to town and let's follow that waypoint. Don't even need to bring up the map anymore. That's so great. Because I don't like when you're flying or you're driving. Oh, we just passed something. And you have to look down at the map and bring it up in front of your face like that and you smash into things. That's no fun. What is that? Wire. Let's grab that wire. A little slippery here. Whoa, bonk. All right, let's get into town and see if we can find a generator. I do have some gas. So all we need is the Jenny. And where is that waypoint? Now, the waypoint does show up in multiplayer. Oh, here's the town right here. Wow, that was close. The waypoint does show up in multiplayer. So your friends can see it, and you can even change the color in your um, survivor profile panel -y thing. And maybe we'll go do that after we find a generator, if we can find a generator. And I better get my rifle out. Because there's a lot of wolves and bears on this map. Which, by the way, you can now increase with the new setting. You can increase the spawning rate of all the animals. Unfortunately, you can't tell the game to spawn, say, I want more wolves or I want more bears. You can't do that, but you can at least increase how often they uh, they do appear on the map. And that was something I had wondered about in the last episode I did when I showed you guys this map. I, I wanted to increase the, um, the number of wolves to make it more like the long dark. But that means we're going to increase the, um, the spawning rate of all animals. So all animals are going to get a boost when I get around to it. Oh, look at all the gear in here. Extra battery, a blowtorch, which you don't need. I actually spawned one in for this episode, but it would have been cool to go out and find it. Not too shabby, but still no generator. And it doesn't look like there's a hardware store or anything here. Oh, I know where we can go. Carter Hydro Dam. Put it on the map. Let's go. I think we should fly there, though, because that's... Yeah, that's kind of fucked. Let's fly over. And by the way, I still have the uh, dashboard GPS mod installed. It's called uh, Diesel's GPS mod, I think. But I did a video on that a little while ago. What is that over there? Is that another deer? They just don't learn, do they? I'm sorry, Bambi. I shot your mama. And I ate half of her. You want the other half? It's it? No? Okay. I was gonna say it's here in the uh, in the fishing shack. You can come and get it. Oh, yeah, it's still here. <laughs> Let's grab it. Oh, and a chart just got dropped off by the apocalypse elves, as did a new granola bar. Uh, we don't need either one of those, but I will eat mama. Sorry, Bambi. All right, now we're gonna try to fly, and I I hope this works. Cause the last time I tried this, I smashed into the shoreline. Be a really short trip. See, it doesn't go up. Up, 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 up. Okay, it went up. Whew, that was not easy, but it went up. And check out the GPS. You can see us on the GPS now. The little arrow showing our location. That is amazing. And in fact, let me bring up the map, and you can see us in motion here too. I noticed that earlier as well. It didn't do that before, right? It used to be like static. That arrow wouldn't move while you were flying or driving, right? You'd have to refresh the map every time to see where that arrow had moved to if somebody was in motion. So that is great that you can actually see it moving now. All right, Carter Hydro Dam. Oh, see, I'm bringing up the map out of habit, but we don't need to anymore. We got the, the waypoint down on the compass. This is fantastic. It's kind of a shame it took Nelson so long to come up with a compass and an upgraded map, but I'm not complaining. I'm glad he's got it done now anyway. Hopefully, he adds it to Unturned 4.0 from the get-go. And yes, I did just say Unturned 4. Which he is now in the planning stages of. And I'll put a link down below to the Trello. Where is this place? I lost it. Oh, this is it right here. Now, where the heck am I going to land? Yeah, so he's got a Trello, um, a Trello page where you can go and you can offer uh, uh, advice. Uh, Help her! Make wishes! Oh gosh! Oh gee! Get out! Get out, Will! Oh, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a serious problem we wanna leave. <laughs> and we're gonna have to find a jack to get that thing out of there. Alright, this is the Carter Hydro Dam. Maybe we'll find a generator here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that's not a generator. 
I'll tell you, the developer of this map really did a nice job. I just played this today. I was just playing Long Dark and I recorded at the Hydro Dam. And he did a really nice job representing the uh, the Hydro Dam because it looks good. This looks very much like it. There's even a pickup truck on the tracks just like that. You got the gate and the fencing. Hopefully there's no wolf here. I hope he didn't put Fluffy the damn wolf inside the damn facility. And that's that's that dog's name. Fluffy the damn wolf, because he lives in a dam. You get it? Alright, well there's a lot of goodies here. Look at all this chocolate bar, grape juice. Uh, we got some gas in here. Oh, come on, a generator would be amazing. Oh, gas can. Well, maybe we can make one. We got the gas can. We got plenty of metal here. Right? I think we might be able to actually make a, a generator. I think the gas can is really all we needed and a bunch of metal. What does it take to make one? And Will's got the skill to do it. Portable generator. Oh, we can do it, guys. We just need four metal bars and four metal sheets. It's just a lot of metal. One, two. We need two more big sheets of metal. And we can make this, uh, this generator. All right, well, let's find some more metal. This is the place to get it. All right, in the old Carter Hydro Dam. Let's get outside and look around. Turn this into almost a real episode, like... Let's turn two of those bars into one scrap metal. Because we only need four bars, right? One more sheet of metal and we can make this generator. And power up our clock, finally. <laughs> oh, you know, I could just salvage my knife. But I, I might need that knife in a survival situation. I hate to do that. Here we go. Gotta be one bit of metal in this tunnel somewhere. Okay, this looks promising. We've got a railroad track. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wire. I think I have enough wire now to make bars and then convert those bars into scrap metal. Convert that wire into bars. Convert the bars into scrap metal. Convert the scrap metal into four um, sheets. And now we can make the portable generator woohoo we did it there it is now we just have to get back home safe and sound and the sun is going down and we got a long way to go let's just go right home we're almost there yeah let's do it let's make a run for it well before the uh, wolves come out actually they're out all day long i fortunately haven't seen any you know what we can do oh look at the spiked fence over here that's cool how about if we go increase the number of animals? Let's do that. Let's get to the menu, increase the number of animals, and see if we can get just a ton of wolves out here. We'll make one quick dash home. That'll be fun. Okay, back at the main menu, and let me show you how to change the color of your map waypoint. It's under survivors and then group. And it's right up here at the top. So I'm, I made mine bright yellow. Let's see if that shows up better than the uh, black that it was. And now let's get to the map. Advanced options, find uh, aminals, right here, respawn time, damage multiplier, armor multiplier, wow, lots of options here. And we've got max instances tiny, I don't know what these numbers mean. Tiny, small, medium, large, and insane. Uh, should we just double it all? Let's just double it all. I'm assuming larger numbers means we'll get more. I don't know. Nelson, a little help. Well, we'll find out. I, I, I can't interpret that. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at our marker. It's yellow. It's so much more visible now down in the compass. You see it? And on the map as well. Look at that. Bright yellow. Okay, that's cool. Now, let's go. We don't have much time. And I'm wondering if we're going to bump into lots more animals. I mean, they could be deer, it could be pigs and cows, but we might get some more hostile animals as well. Love to see some more wolves on this map in particular. Alright, so it's the second island, right? Oh, I keep bringing up my map. I don't have to do that. Old habits die hard. <laughs> it's right there where the waypoint's po pointing. Oh, here's the ranger tower. 
Very nice. Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah, the map designer did an awesome job on this. Really, really did. Although, he could jump from the ranger tower and float down. Yeah, let's do that. Give us a little more height. Okay, here we go. We should be able to make it pretty far. Get it set to my number four key, and away we go! Whee! Fly, Will, fly! <laughs> this is excellent! We're clearly not going to make it the whole way, but if we can make it at least half, it's better than walking through all this snow. We're cutting this trip down by a lot. Switch out for wolves and bears. Look at that street! Looks just like it does in, uh, in the long dark. Again, really nice job. All right, let's bring that map back up. Where's my waypoint? Right here. Oh, what did, what did you do? It's Wolfie. It's all by himself. <laughs> Easy peasy. Is he? Wait a minute. Yeah, he's all alone. Let's get this Wolfie. He's going to be careful on the ice, though. This is a bolt action. He's not going to shoot very fast. I want to make sure we kill him. I don't want him to come sneaking up on us in the middle of the night. If he hears the gun, he'll run. But if he doesn't even see us. Oh, you're so dumb. There's a wolf, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. Sorry, Wolf, but it's me or you, pal. And it's gonna have to be you. <laughs> Any more wolves around? Don't think so. Oh, and then we got a piece of wolf to eat? Oh, look at him. What's a hug? Oh, poor little guy. All right, we'll grab his, uh, his hide. Hate to see that go to waste. Let's put a fresh clip in. And let's get going. We're right over the hill. Oh, there's a cave there. Cool, but we're not going to bother with that. I want to get back. I want to get my clock to work. All this just to get a clock to work. <laughs> we obviously... Whoa. I obviously could have just had this all made up and ready to go, but what's the fun in that? Oh, look, a trout. He just hopped right out of the ice and into my uh, fishing shed. And, oh, bacon. Ooh. Oh, can't resist Canadian bacon in a can. Not as good as the real things. Fresh pork would have been nice, but unfortunately there's no piggies about. Let's put the generator out back because it's going to be kind of loud. Uh, I'll put it right here. I'm going to have to move that bedroll. I think I'll move the bedroll into the cave. And do we have... Wait. We better have gas. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I knew I had gas all along. And now the clock is working. And it automatically self-adjusted to the real time. And wow, look at that hand move. It goes fast, doesn't it? Oh, I love the clock. So it's like, is that, is it 6.30? I guess that's 6.30. Yeah, it is. It's like evening, sun's going down. Gets dark about 6.30ish here, it looks like. That is amazing. But it makes me want to go do something. I'm watching this clock tick down, and I feel like I'm not being productive. Okay, I just looked at the change log notes, and there's really nothing else to talk about. So I guess we're done here. You can leave now, and Will is just going to hang out here in his little fishing shack and stare at the clock. He's got all the time in the world to kill here in the long dark. So sad. So sad. Uh, well, it was nice to see you anyway. Uh, stop by any time, okay? Oh boy. Alright, well, we'll just stare at that clock and wish we had something to do. Huh. Hmm. Alright, yeah, okay. Bye! See you next time.